Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the winner, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about an update that just recently came to the Xbox One. I'm going to talk about maybe some of the changes that were different from the PS4 and also why it took a little longer to come out and also a super easy way confirmed that you can make money in Grand Theft Auto Online. We talked about it about a month ago and now we've actually got some evidence that this method is pretty easy to accomplish and pretty easy to make millions. So let's get started. So let's start with the update that came to the Xbox One. So for those of you guys that don't know, about a week ago or six days ago, there was an update for the PS4 that fixed a lot of the graphical bugs and issues that were going on in Grand Theft Auto Online. They also patched like some of the modded vehicles, like they kind of put like a blacklist on them so the Duke of Death would explode as soon as you got in them. They also tried to blacklist some other modded vehicles. And for whatever reason, an update did not come out on the Xbox One. However, just a few days ago, and I'm sorry I didn't get to it, there was a lot of PC news that was coming out, but a few days ago, an Xbox One patch 1.10 or 1.26 on the old generation, I know it's confusing, just came out, and FunMW2 says that there's slightly more fixes for the Xbox One than the PS4 version or the update. So they also received a security update that is going to stop patched vehicles from moving. So I don't really know what stopping patched vehicles from moving means. I'm guessing that's a way to, you know, break down and stop people from driving cars like the Duke of Death and the Go Go Monkey Ballista. I actually don't play Grand Theft Auto Online on the Xbox One. So if those of you guys who do have that console, let me know what's been going on. If you did have a Duke of Death, is it broken? Is it not working? What about the Go Go Monkey Ballista? So I definitely want to hear from you guys on that issue. So there was also some notes that said it's the 1.10 update that the PS4 got last week with some small added fixes. So they obviously fixed the graphical issues like the parallax mapping and also some of the car deformation bugs. They patched many of the heist vehicles and any vehicles not designated to be used in online will no longer move, meaning it will be stuck to the ground. So I guess that's what when FunMW2 said the vehicles will be locked to the ground. That's what it means. You won't be able to enter them and you won't be able to drive them. Now, if you guys remember about three weeks ago, right after the daily challenges came out, it was revealed that if you did all three daily challenges for a month, you would get an ultra bonus of $500,000 and 50,000 RP. Well, it looks like the first person to do that has actually posted this image on the Grand Theft Auto 5 subreddit of them completing all three daily objective challenges for 28 straight days. And that's right, they got a bonus $500,000 and five or 50,000 RP. So that is a lot of money. We thought that this was going to be a super easy thing to accomplish and do, and that daily objectives were the new way to make millions of dollars and it turns out that that's actually kind of right because not only do you get money for each daily objective that you do I think it's like twenty thousand dollars a day but if you also complete the three for the 28 days straight you'll get five hundred thousand dollars so each month you can earn like seven hundred or eight thousand dollars just on the daily objective so if you do it over you know one or two or three months that's an easy way to make two or three million dollars and even if you do other things like win races you know complete objectives whatever you want you can make some serious cash by adding these daily objectives to your things that you do in Grand Theft Auto Online to make money. Anyways, I know this was a short video, but I just wanted to update you guys on the Xbox One that if you haven't signed in or you haven't noticed, you should have gotten a patch update that has given you a lot of fixes that the PS4 already got in terms of graphical issues, but also patching some of the uh, vehicles like the Duke of Death and the Go-Go Monkey Ballista, and also this confirmed way that using daily objectives is a great way to make money in Grand Theft Auto Online. So of course, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, a like rating would be awesome, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.